All right, this time we're doing the Mattel 5-inch Buzz Lightyear from the upcoming Buzz Lightyear movie. Now, for reference colors, I'm using a photo reference from the SH Figure Arts figure that comes out in October. So let's get started. We're going to soak them in warm water and detergent and give them a quick little bath. All right, he's all cleaned up, and we're going to mix in some blues and some reds, a little bit of white to make our purple. And we're going to start off with the purple. I'll list all the colors that I use for mixing and for the entire figure in the uh, comment or the description. You know, the purples are done. I realize the top of the hands, the purple is incorrect. I'll go back later and fix that. But uh, so far, I kind of like what I'm, what I'm seeing. Now they put a hole in the back. Apparently, I'm guessing that is for another figure that comes with the jetpack. And you can see here that they also have a spot where you can put the helmet. But this particular figure only came with his laser machete or sword or whatever it was. You can see the original machete there down on the mat. Uh, you'll get a sense of it later after I'm done painting it. So now we're going to move in and do the blacks. So let's go ahead and get started with that one. I clearly have some camera work to do. Uh, I do a lot of this out of frame. I apologize for that. This is only my second video, so eventually I'll get things worked out. All right, now we're gonna go with the grays. Like I said, I'll put all the colors that I use uh, in the comments or in the description. I keep saying comments, description. Well, so far it's looking pretty good, I like it. Um, this is where I go in and I correct the purple on the hands. Now I got the black palm idea from the uh, figure coming out. This is what we've got so far looking sharp now I noticed that it rubs on the inside of the kneecap I really can't do much about that unless I wanted to file down the inside of that kneecap which is a little hard to do unless you take the figure apart and I really didn't want to do that because it's only a five inch um, I just figured it's not gonna be used for playing anyway just for posing so after it's posed I can just go in and touch it up but you can't really see it as you can see there just kind of blocked by the kneecap the knee pad and as I was saying about the palms, the um, SH Figure Arts has black palms, but in the trailer I noticed he didn't have black palms in his suit, but he did have the purple fingertips. So I'll go back in and do the purple fingertips in a bit. And here I'm just doing the only green that was needed was for his, uh, his boot caps or his toe caps. And this here I used Goblin Green by Vallejo. And I'm going in and touching in all the gray areas that I saw in the reference photo. And this I use Stonewall Gray. Here's what we got so far, looking pretty sharp. I like it a lot better than the original one so far. And um, yeah, hope you guys like what you see so far. Thanks for sticking in this far in. And there's a sword or the machete you can see I completed there on the mat. And now I'm going to do some damage to the kneecaps because there's always damage to the kneecaps. I mean, Buzz has been on some missions. You can clearly tell in the trailer alone. He's, he's done quite a bit. And there we go. There's a better look at it. I didn't want to go overboard. Just a few little scratches and dings. 
All right, now it's time for the hair wash. For the hair wash, I used Umber Wash by Vallejo. I actually went over it twice. After the first time, you could see a slight difference in the hair, but I didn't. I wanted a little more depth, so I just did it twice. It looked pretty good. And then I went in with the Flesh Wash by Vallejo. Scared me at first a little bit because it's really dark in the bottle, like a really, really tan. But it really did uh, make them not so pale. It turned out a lot better than I thought. I like it. Now here we're gonna do the Silver Leaf by, uh, it's a Rub and Buff, I believe. And it's a Silver Leaf. We're gonna show some damage to the metal parts of his suit and that you can actually see that in the trailer as well he's got some damage to the green areas of the suit you can see the metal coming through underneath which is pretty cool Now I did make one mistake, and you guys are going to see that coming up here in a little bit. I decided to do the damage and the dry brushing before the wash, and then I went back and did the wash. That was a mistake. You guys, if you're going to do this, do the wash first, and then do any of the rub and buff or the dry brushing afterwards. Because I had to go back and redo just the upper half. I didn't go back and do a wash in the lower half or just the upper half I didn't go back in and do the uh, the scuffing and the damage look on the, the green parts of the suit All right, I think we're all done. So we're gonna go over it with this Army Painter Matte Varnish. And here we go. We're all done. Like I said in my last video, um, all the figures I do are up for grabs. I'd like to thank Eric Thompson for support. He, he purchased my Firefly from the last video. So if you're interested in this one at all, go ahead and uh, reach out to me at email. And there it is before and there's the after. Here's a couple of more photos of the after. If you guys think this video is too long or too short, hey, just let me know in the comments below. And I turned the music down this time because somebody left a comment saying it was too loud last time. Thank you everyone for watching the video. I appreciate it. Until next time.